WIAA state basketball tournaments were both canceled late last night, but two top teams are not letting them stop their celebration. Sports director Brandon Kennard joins us in studio tonight with their story. Brandon? Yeah, Nina, across both sports, there were nine local teams still active with a chance to win state championships. The Wrightstown girls team was the only area squad to actually qualify for a state championship game. They won their semifinal game yesterday before the tournament was canceled. But they're still finding a silver lining. Check this out. This morning, the Tigers meeting at the Resch Center with Platteville, the team they were scheduled to play in the title game, and they all took a group photo together. Both teams disappointed they won't get a chance to play, but certainly making the best of a strange situation. I think it's really good that us and Platteville could come together. Instead of being mad that we each like didn't get our opportunity to play, I know Platteville's a really good team, girls with really good sportsmanship, so it was good to just come together, congratulate each other for how far we've each come. You know, it's really what sports are all about, to um, create camaraderie, um, to create um, relationships with people. Uh, it's, it's really inspiring, and we're thankful. And, of course, now at the schools of the news of schools now closing, high school sports are very much in limbo. And many of these players say they are hoping to play spring sports, but those appear to be in question as of now. So this may have been one of their final experiences as high school athletes. We're just not sure at this point. Nina? Everything seems to be in limbo. Thank you, Brandon.